What's going on everybody? Math with Chris. Uh, another factor tree here, another factor tree problem here. We're going to find the factors of 96 using a factor tree. These numbers are getting getting up there. All right, first uh, numbers we always bank. First thing we always do is bank the two easiest factors to, to bank. That's of course 1 and the number itself 96. Those are always going to be factors of any number. Uh, now we got to think of uh, two numbers that multiply together to give us 96 to get our factor tree started. Well, not, a, not, not really an obvious one, so let's go with 2 and, and half of 96 is uh, 48. So 2 times 48. Let's take a look at the 2. 2 is a prime number, as we know. Circle the 2 as 2 is done. 48, we got some work to do, so let's break down 48 a little further. Uh, 48 can be broken down in a, a couple different ways. Why don't we go with 4 times 12. Uh, let's take a look at the 4. Can 4 be broken down further? Absolutely. 4 is 2 times 2. 2's are both prime numbers. Circle both of the 2's. That, that part's done. What about 12? Well, we got more work to do on 12. 12 can be broken down into, I don't know, let's go with 6 times 2. Uh, is 6 a prime number? No. Keep going. Keep going on this tree. 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. Uh, is 2 and 3 prime numbers? Both of them are. Circle both the 2 and the 3. And what about this 2 over here? That is a prime number as well. Circle that 2 as well. And our factor tree is done. A little bit longer than normal ones, but any path you take hits a uh, circled prime number. That, way, uh, that means we know we are, we are done. All right, so we hit quite a few uh, prime factors here. We got a two, we got another two, we got a third two, got a fourth two, got a fifth two, and a three. So if we multiply that out, that's two times two times two times two times two times three. And if you multiply that out, that does in fact give you 96. And ooh, I'm gonna have to squeeze this arrow there, uh, but it checks out. All right, now we got some work to do here. Uh, first, we got to add all or add all our prime factors to the bank. We only found two of them. We got a two and a three, but we got to add both of those to the bank. Now, any numbers we hit along the way, and we actually hit quite a few of them along the way: 48, 4, 12, and 6. All of those are factors as well. 48, 4, 12, and 6. Let's bank all of those. 48, 4, 12, and 6. Okay, let's come down, down here to the prime factors. Are there combinations we can multiply together here to give us numbers that have not been banked yet? There are going to be quite a few, so let's continue this uh, long exercise. 2 times 2. We already got 4. Don't need that one. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. We don't have an 8 yet. Let's bank the 8. What about 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Yeah, 4 twos, that's 16. 16 we don't have yet. Let's bank the 16. And what about 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. We don't have that one yet. Let's bank a 32. Now let's see what combos we can do using the 3. 2 times 3, that's 6. We already got that. What about 2 times 2 times 3? 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. We already got that. What about 2 times 2 times 2 times 3? 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. That's 24. We do not have 24 yet. Let's add a 24 to the mix. What about 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 is 48. We already got 48. And that's every combination there is. We've tried them all, and we've gotten them all. We're done. There's an even number of factors. That's uh, what there should be, is 96 is not a perfect square, so there should be an even number of factors, and there are. It checks out. We've got them all. That's uh, 12 factors of 96, a bunch of them. They are in order 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 32, 48, and 96. Tough one, but we got it. Well done, guys. Hope uh, this is all coming together for all of you. Uh, this was a tough one, but, but uh, good job getting it all done. All right, guys, uh, there are many more of these to try if you need. Check out the rest of our videos if you need other math tips. 
Uh, see you again next time.